Hey there, Garrett here from Jodar Tools. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'll be showing you how to use our POE and cable testing tool, part number POE-1. POE or power over ethernet is becoming more and more abundant due to its ease of use, minimalist application, and growing number of compatibilities with products. Some of the most common applications range from security cameras, phones, and access points, to some more recent innovations such as doorbell cameras, home audio, and lighting. With such a wide range of devices, you will need something to help determine if you have enough voltage, amperage, or meet the specified standards of the device. Luckily, Jonar Tools POE and Cable Tester can solve all of that and more. To start, determine what problem you would like to solve. The POE-1 has three main functions power supply detection, inline power monitoring, and RJ45 wire pair testing. Let's start with the power supply detection. Plug in your cable to the port labeled PSE for power supply equipment and make sure the device being tested is on. And that's it. Results should show automatically on the screen, even if you don't have a battery installed. Here you will see a live reading of the voltage as well as the standards shown as A, B, or AB. Refer to your instruction manual for detailed specifications. Next is the inline power monitoring feature where we'll see the power and standards passing through our device. We'll start by plugging in your powered cable to the PSE port, just like with the previous example. Next, we'll take the cable from our device and plug that into the PD or power device port, establishing the connection to activate the device. You should see results appear on the screen showing voltage, amperage, wattage, and standards. But you may need to wait around 30 seconds for the readings to stabilize. For the standards, you can refer to our instructions for detailed specifications. Here you will see a few other examples using some other common devices. In most cases, you will find the manufacturer's specifications labeled on the device itself. You can compare those to your results from the POE-1 to make sure the device is operating properly. The last feature is the RJ45 wire pair testing. This feature is perfect for testing the integrity of your CAT5E, CAT6, CAT6A, and CAT8 cables. There are a few ways we can diagnose. First, we will test the patch cord by plugging in the cord to the test port on the device and pressing the select button to change to cable test mode. Then you will connect the remote adapter to the other side of the cord. Once plugged in, you can press the confirm button and the test results will appear on the screen. There are four outcomes for these test results. A green dot shows that the wire pair is functioning correctly. Next is the orange dot, which means the resistance is too high. This is sometimes due to the cable length, conductor, construction, or improper contact slash termination. Then there is the red dot, which means the wire pair has a short or miswired. The last result is a red X, which means there is an open circuit. You can use this test in three different ways. MPTL or modular plug terminated link setup, patch cord setup, and a channel link setup as seen here. And that's the Jonarn Tools POE and cable testing tool, part number POE-1. Be sure to like this video and comment below. Subscribe to our channel for more tips and product launches. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.